What's up guys, this is your boy Falcon back again and today we're working on a 2004 Chevy 2500. Procedures are going to be the same from like 98 to 06. Um, Chevy's 2500 1500s. Basically I'm going to show you guys how to replace the door handle on my driver's side which broke. So we're just going to go through the process of replacing it real quick and shouldn't be that hard. First off we got to take off the door handle or the door panel, sorry right here. Um, as you can see, we already have some screws here, so we're not gonna, re we're just gonna leave these, leave, sorry, we're just gonna leave the panel just hanging here. I don't, I don't think I need to take the, everything completely off. Um, what you do have to take off, so you have this plastic cover that goes right here in the door. So basically you're gonna pull it out from the back and then slide it out through the, um, the hole right there. And then we have another cover that goes here. It just pulls straight out from these um, clips right here and then you pull it straight up um, after that you have one seven millimeter bolt right there and then you have another one right here um, as far as this one goes it's gonna be the lock um, little indicator right there so just pull this straight out and then it's gonna be another bolt right there um, there is no other bolts here so all we're gonna do is you're gonna pull it straight up and it should pop right out all right so here we have the door handle it's only three bolts so it should be pretty pretty simple to replace mine broke from right here as far as um the panel itself um since we already took off those two bolts right there the clips that go around they're just like little hooks so all we're gonna do is pull it straight up and we should be able just to take it off uh, this is the part number for the doorman if this one was 35 dollars but i'm gonna try to find a cheaper one on amazon and i'll put the link right there in the description so on this one we just pull it straight up and then just go around the handle if we do have wires for the um, speaker and this right here but i'm just gonna leave this hanging here um, i don't need to take everything completely off so i think i'll be fine okay now taking this off like i said it only has the three bolts so we have one right here in this corner one we can get through with here and then we're gonna have to get one through the bottom and get our hands in there Here's the first one, 10 millimeters. And then the other one, I'm gonna have to get in through the bottom. Now from here, I already took out those bolts, so it's completely broken. This is the part where it broke off here. So we just gotta undo these little um, clips here. So on these clips, you just pull this plastic piece back. So you pop it out that way, and then the, the metal rod just pulls this way. Uh, same thing on this red one, I already popped this one out, and then the rod, see, just pops straight out like that. And there it goes. So now the, the same thing with this one, kind of hard with one hand. There it goes, pulled it out. And now the rod just pulls straight out, and that is it. Now here, all I'm gonna do is transfer uh, my lock from here to here. Just have this clip right here um, to take off the lock. Just get a screwdriver here and then just pop it out. So here we go, took out the clip, I kiss it. And then this one will just pull straight back. And there it is. As you can see, it just slides in and it's gonna clip on. Not like that, but like this, just like the other one. There it goes, it clipped back into place. And all I'm gonna do is put this back on, uh, put those hooks back on, and then get my bolts back there in. This. I put those clips back on. So all, I, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the handle here. So then I'm just gonna pull the handle here with both hands, and I should be able just to slide it there. This one goes back into place. We got the bolt there. Bolts in the bottom, and then I'm just gonna put the 10 millimeter bolts all around. Hey guys, so that's it. I already put the three bolts back in there. This one, the one, one on the bottom that went behind this cover here if you guys don't have this cover then you guys should be able to see the nut if not just take out this cover and then you just put it back on so now i'm just gonna slide everything back in and it should be done that is how you replace the door handle on a chevy uh, silverado um procedures is also the suburbans are going to be the same way suburban Saho, it's all the same thing so that's how you do it um if yours is broken the passenger side or any of the other ones are going to be the same thing the panels are pretty easy to take off and three bolts just to replace it. 
All right, guys, I really hope you, got, you found this video helpful. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell for me, share the channel. I will catch you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. You guys have yourselves a great day.